In this video, we are going to go over completing the square method under quadratic functions. So how do you get to solve a quadratic function using completing the square method? Okay, so we have some practice questions to help us understand that. x squared minus 10x plus 24 is equal to 0. <coughs> okay. So basically the way it works is uh, the first step is to take the constant the other side. So you have x squared minus 10x being equal to minus 24. Okay, so now that you've taken the constant the other side, of course we don't necessarily take it the other side. We had the additive inverse on both sides. Okay, and that's how it gets the other side. Okay, the next step will be to replace the the B part, the middle part. Okay? So before we get to replace it, we need to find the half. So what we have is we have negative 10. What is the half of negative 10? It's going to give us what? It's going to give us negative 5. So basically we have x squared. So now, what we need to know is, as we get to replace, it's a, it's a, we're supposed to replace the half. So it will be plus the half, which is negative 5. But it's supposed to be squared. And this term is supposed to be introduced on both the left hand side and also the right hand side. So basically if you're able to get to this point, then you know how to to go. Then you know how to do the computing by a square method. Because that's where it ends. Okay, so now how do you get to do it now? So it's just a matter of now simplifying. So at this point just you are expected to correct the the squares. So it will be x minus 5, then the square will be outside, is equal to minus 24. Negative 5 squared is 25. Okay. We can now have some space there. Okay, so what basically do we have? So we now have x minus 5 squared is equal to, the other side we have negative 24 plus 25 is 1. So we want to find the square root on both sides. So we have x plus 5 equal to. So the, mom the moment you introduce the square on the other side, it will be plus or minus 1. So the square root has cancelled out with, uh, with that 2 there. So there it becomes plus or minus. So now x is equal to 5 plus or minus 1. So x is equal to 6. x is also equal to 4. So that's the way you solve a quadratic function using completing the square method. Another practice problem there. Okay. So we have 2x squared plus 12x plus 5 is equal to 0. Okay. So look at the, the B part there. What do we have? We have a 12. So the half of a 12 is what? It's basically 6. So we have 2x squared plus 6 squared. Then the constant goes the other side, negative 5. So we are going to add the half as well, squared. So we have 2. Okay, so basically this one is a bit different. It's different. It doesn't work that way. Whenever you are dealing with a uh, with your computing by a square method, you need to make sure that the coefficient of x squared is 1. Okay, so you divide by, let's divide by 2 throughout. We see what we're going to have. So if we divide by 2, 2, 2. So we have x squared plus 6x plus 5 over 2 is equal to 0. At that point, what can we do? Okay, so now we get to the same step now. So only get the half of uh, the B part when when the coefficient of x squared is 1. So now we have x squared plus the half of 6 is 3 squared. So this can go the other side to be minus 5 over 2. So we are also adding the 3 squared. So we now have x plus 3 squared is equal to so negative 5 over 2 plus what? Plus a 9. So negative 5 over 2 plus 9. So the easiest way of uh, adding fractions is multiply that one by a 2. It will be what? It will be 18. So you have negative 5 plus 18 over 2. 
so 18 minus 5 is what 18 minus it's actually 13 so we have a 13 over 2 okay let's try to show that so we are saying we have x plus 3 squared is equal to 13 over 2 so to find the value of x what do we do so we have x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus the root of what 13 over 2 okay so at that point we have x being equal to negative 3 plus or minus the root of what 13 over 2 okay so at this point you can get your calculator so the two possible solutions that you expect is negative 3 minus that and also negative 3 plus that okay so you can finish it up using a calculator okay so basically this is what completing the square method is all about let's look at uh, one more extra question on the same okay so now let's say we have um, okay let's do this one let's say we have a uh, 3 x squared <laughs> plus 12 minus 2 is equal to 0 so basically there <coughs> we need to make sure that the coefficient is as well a what a 1 so what do we do so we divide by a 3 so we now have x squared plus 4 minus 2 over 3 is equal to 0 so what's the half of b of course we are supposed to be x square it's minus 2 of x so 4 x square okay so what's the half of for 4 there so it's 2 so the constant goes the other side and we are supposed to add the 2 squared on both sides okay from that point we have x plus 2 to the power 2 we've combined and have a square outside so we have 2 over 3 plus 4 so I've said the easiest way of adding fractions multiply 3 by 4 what basically do you have? you have a 12 12 plus 2 14 so a 14 over 3 so we now have x plus 2 squared is basically equal to okay so we have 14 over 3 so to find the value of x we find the square root on both sides and what we are going to have will be x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus the root of 14 over what? over 3 so we have x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus 14 over 3 and you have two possible solutions one which can be added to the 2 and one which can be subtracted from the 2 okay so you can simplify simplify that using your calculator okay so in the last question what we can look at we can say let's have x squared minus 3x is equal to negative 1 so this is uh, already in the form that we want it to be x squared already has got a coefficient of a 1 so what do we have now so what we have is let's find the half of what we have there so the half is negative 3 over 2 so we have x squared plus the our half is negative 3 over 2 squared we do we had it to the other side as well negative 3 over 2 squared so at this point you have x minus 3 over 2 then you square it outside then negative 1 plus 9 over 2 because negative 3 over 2 by negative 3 over 2 you multiply it by itself the positive the negative will go away okay let's try to move on so at this point we have x minus 
3 over 2 being equal to negative 1 plus 9 over 2 is the same as 9 over 2 minus 1. So 2 times the negative 1, it will be a minus 2. So you have 9 minus 2 over 2, which is basically a 7 over 2. So you have the squared the that side there. So at this point, our value of x is going to be, so if you, when this goes to the other side, it will be 3 over 2 plus or minus the root of what? 7 over 2. So we have two possible solutions of x. 3 over 2 plus root of 7 over 2 as well as 3 over 2 minus root of 7 over 2. So this is all about it when it comes to computing the square method, solving a quadratic function using computing the square method.